in solar system design. It is an important step to be able to plan out how you would install your panels. However, it's an expensive step to go and do that in a field out on the unforgiving scorching sun. So, like in every engineering principle, you plan it out and you draw it. Now, manually drawing it is almost an impossible task since you would not be able to zoom in and correctly get the sizes right. Well, whilst that can be done, there are better tools for that. Among those tools, we have Helioscope and um, AutoCAD. Helioscope provides an automated way of quickly estimating how much panels can fit on a given area. Whilst that is used, because it is automated, you have only what the system allows you. You are limited to what the system allows you to do. Now, AutoCAD provides the complete suit for you. You can design whatever system you want without any restriction whatsoever. Today, I'm walking you through a tutorial on how you can use AutoCAD to draw and design a solar panel layout. But first, you need to head on to Google Earth and then get the site that you're looking at or the site you're developing for to start with. So we head on to our Google F and then we search for our site. And today we are going to use RFCs. Great, so our site is loaded. Now we zoom into our site. I can go ahead and clear this since I know more needed. When you zoom in, you can see that um, the building is tilted, right? in alignment to the east and west direction but you can see that this is the north direction okay it's easy as i'm rotating at this change so that is the north direction now you can also click the scroll button and then align it it's always a good practice to align it so well you see i can also align it in the um, north south direction so I would align it so that I can have it neatly aligned to my to the horizontal edge and to the vertical edge. This step is a very important step. You would understand why very soon. Okay. So after I have neatly aligned it, I would make sure that my building is centered. So very centered. So I have a very almost perfect alignment of the building all right now once i am done aligning it the next thing is to save this image so i come to save image you go to file you go to file and then save save my image now when we come over here it is always very good practice to choose the maximum resolution then we can select our map options i don't need a title i don't need a legend I need a skill and I need a compass but you would also find out that it is not very visible that is our scale right there that's our compass but that is not very visible so we need to scale it up so you can scale this you see it's increasing in size but ever so slowly okay so you can keep on I think this is good 620 is very much okay all right then now I can I can save my image. Okay, I can do our sees. Yes. Great. So now that we have our image saved, let's see how it looks like. Um, let's see how our image looks like. Right. So see that we have a very high resolution image of the RC's building. It doesn't look so clear, but that's not what we are concerned about. All we are concerned about is that we have our roof perfectly and neatly laid out in this diagram. Okay, great. So in the next step, we are going to open this in AutoCAD and continue from there. Thank you very much for watching up to this point. And do well to subscribe 
and then click the bell notification to receive alerts on our next video. In the next video, we will show you how you will do the layout, planning and planning in AutoCAD.